What's going on? This your boy Aristotle, and today I'm going to show you how to place an option trade. So first things first is you need a broker, right? So what is a broker? A broker is something that you will use to trade options on, right? Or stocks, period, right? So the first broker that I like is Thinkorswim, two is Tastyworks, and then three is Robinhood, and then the fourth is E-Trade, in that order. So first things first is you need to learn how to understand and place an option trade in the first place. So if we go to my screen, right? We're gonna to go to my iPad. Right here I have the, um, we're gonna draw up a signal, right? So we're gonna say uh, Apple um, 130 calls um, for a date of, let's say 528 at, we can say price 1.3, right? So this right here is called my stripe. And we'll go over that, right? This is betting on the stock to go up, right? Call bet on the stock to go up. This is my expiration date. And this is my limit price. And to make things simple, right? So we're gonna call this the limit, right? And to make things simple, the limit is always times 100. So this will equal $130. Right? So if it was 2.22, it would be $222. So this will also be the ticker symbol, right? So that would be the ticker, right? And this will be the expiration date. So that is how you read an option signal. You have the um, ticker, the strike price, the call or the put, remember calls bet on the stock to go up, puts bet on the stock to go down, right? Then we have the expiration date and then the limit price, which will always be times 100, right? So we go over and now we want to, what? Place the option signal. So I'm going to go to my Thinkorswim app. So looking here, we have Apple. And remember, we wanted to place a 100, 30 call, right? But with a 528 expiration date. So right here, I can actually screenshot this and show you guys. So right here is the strike price, right? Remember that? So that is the price, the hit price. So I want to do an Apple 130 call for an expiration date of 528. And the limit will actually be about $23. Right, so the limit will be $23, 0 0.23. And well, actually, yeah, it's right here, because the ask. So next, I want to talk to you guys about the bid and the ask, right? So remember to always buy at the ask and sell at the bid. That is very important, right? So this is your bid and this is your asking price. So. It's just like if you were going to a grocery store and you were trying to buy a Snicker bar. Um, you have to literally buy what the store is asking for. If it costs a dollar, you can't go to them with 80 cents and say, hey, can I buy the Snicker bar when it costs a dollar? So remember, always remember your bid and your asking price, right? So the ask is what? $23, right? So 0 0.23 times 100 is 23. Strike price is 130. The ticker symbol is Apple, right? So remember, this is the strike price, 130. So I will literally click that 0 0.23 on the ask, right? And this will pop up. So as you can see, I have about 10 contracts. So this is our limit order. Remember that word, limit. So I have 10 contracts. If I wanted to do one, we can, we can subtract one. It'll be $23, as you can see. 10 of those bad boys. I actually upgraded the uh, price. You don't wanna do that. You always wanna go what they're asking for. All right, so we have 20 contracts. That'll be 460, right? 
But that's what I would do. All you have to do is press review and then send, and it will send for you. So like I said, in conclusion, you have learned which brokers to choose, how to enter an option signal, and how to read an option signal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys will be entering option plays, and will be some future profitable day traders and swing traders in the future. God bless.